In recent times, community members have complained about the damaged sewage system, especially in informal settlements, which pose a serious health risk. During a media conference, acting CEO at the city of Vendu confirmed that processes to fix and upgrade the drains has commenced. We, we are definitely aware of the switch problem. And um, we, the department, we have done um, some in, quite extensive analysis of all our switch and those that needs to be upgraded, they've been identified. So obviously that process, although the budget was approved um, the 4th of July, um, we are now obviously during the procurement process where we need to appoint contractors to start doing this work. But the, but the city is prioritizing, so and funds have been put aside to fix this problem. So it's a combination of upgrades and a combination of just maintenance. But that process has started. Our, our procurement process, the, on the maintenance side has started, eh? yes. But on the construction, I would say it could take two to three months to appoint contractors. But at least on the maintenance side, those contractors are appointed and the process has started. The city is also looking into implementing funding strategies from the land sales to cater for the capital projects of the city. In the same vein, the council also revealed that there are entities that owe city of Vendu close to 900 million Namibia dollars in debt, which was recorded in the month of July. Our funding strategies that we are looking at and planning to implement is that we will need to create a revolving fund for land sales so that all the land sales revenue that we receive go into a revolving fund where we can be able now to utilize to, to fund our capital projects. And then the capital projects need to be funded from uh, a combination of uh, borrowings and from the revolving fund. And then we also will continue to engage government that they should help us in terms of the funding, especially on the operational, because of the social responsibility that city has and the importance of city um, to nationally. So those are some of the um, initiatives. And then the tariff increase that I indic indicated will continue to rely on the tariff increase. However, we will need to make sure that those tariff increases are sustainable so that we do not push much um, um, burden on the, on the residents, but at the same time we also need to look at the economy of city of window. That it, the continuous increase of um, continuous increase of tariffs might make uh, window uncompetitive compared to other cities, so that it becomes more expensive. So some business might need to sh they might shun away to come and invest in in, in window. So we we'll need to make sure that the tariff increase that we will, need to embark on that, that are sustainable and can still be able to accommodate investors. There are several strategies that um, uh, we are looking at. Um, the key one is still goes back to disconnection. I think, um, I think it's, uh, some media houses have reported that uh, how we, certain ministries mm -hmm. were cut off, um, notably in the institution like UNAM. Those are some of the uh, measures that we need to be able to aggressively uh, implement. But at the same time, we are now trying to move into prepaid uh, mode even for, for water. So those are some of the projects that are coming so that we can be able to, to reduce in terms of people going into the field to do the disconnection. We can be able to do the disconnection from the office. But at the same time, we can be able to, um, uh, consumer can start paying for water and electricity uh, on prepaid, they should rely on prepaid, so that at least it reduces in terms of the credit sales that we have to uh, give the, the consumers. The council has confirmed that in their 2019-2020 financial year, close to 200 million Namibia dollars has been budgeted for land sales, which is more than the amount budgeted for the previous year, which was just 85 million Namibia dollars.